Did you know that segregation was ended in Las Vegas because of one threatening letter? So prior to 1960, Vegas was known as the Mississippi of the West because the segregation was so bad. Black employees were forced to work at the back of the house and really famous performers such as Sammy Davis Jr., Nat King Cole, Ella Fitzgerald could perform on stage for hundreds of people but were not even allowed to walk through the front door of the casino. Here's another great example of that. Ella Fitzgerald's name is on the marquee at the Flamingo, but she's not allowed to stay at the hotel. So in March of 1960, the head of the NAACP chapter in Las Vegas wrote a letter to the mayor at the time saying that if the city was not integrated, that there would be a massive protest. They were planning a protest so massive that it would block off access to Las Vegas Boulevard and just generally cause a huge PR nightmare for Vegas. Just the threat of this protest was enough for the mayor to basically immediately, without question, say, okay, let's do it. So the NAACP, the Nevada governor, and the gaming executives all met to agree to end segregation. This photo is cool because they held this meeting at the Moulin Rouge, which was the only black owned and operated casino in Las Vegas. Here's a great photo of these same men outside of the Moulin Rouge in 1994. I'm going to do a whole video about the Moulin Rouge because this property was gorgeous and so cool, but was so short-lived. 